Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike from B Tech Reviews here. And today we are going to share a new device. So, just a heads up uh, one of the TCL reps uh, sent me a, uh, I guess, a press kit on uh, one of these devices. And I'm going to share some. I'm actually going to just share the website with you because the website looks a lot better than the press kit that they, that they sent me. But I'm going to read a little bit off the press kit. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, quickly share this on my, like, uh, you know, my Twitter, my. Uh, my discord and you know magic text uh, discord as well just in case he wants to watch that as well maybe my facebook we'll see uh, just to check that out uh one second here though let's go ahead and uh smash the like button over here i guess see if we can get anyone over here in the chat let's see that uh, i'll just go ahead and create a post also uh, currently live and again uh, this is actually a tech product that uh, I have not, uh, I guess, well, I, I've already looked at it uh, because I've already kind of read through it and and, <clears throat> and and checked it out. But let's go ahead and, and check this out. It's, again, it is uh, Wednesday, June the 15th, 2022, just so you guys can get the date there. Let me go ahead and turn on live chat just so you guys can see that. <clears throat> and again, I do have uh, the whole footage here. Let me see if I can maybe share this on my Discord really quick. And on uh, Magic Text Discord, I guess. Let's see. Um, just so that we can get maybe a few people in here. <clears throat> and again, this might be a repeat for some people that already that already watched this earlier. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and self-promote over here also. Uh, just because, you know, I want to I make sure that, you know, uh, I share the information with uh, YouTubers that are on my, my channel and don't follow his channel uh, specifically. Uh, let me just go and... Again, share that on Discord. Let me guess. Is this the self-promotion video? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, here we go. So, again, I feel like it's going to be like a repeat on what's going on. But it's all, it's all good. Okay, so let me go ahead and exit out here on that just because I, I don't want there to be like another. I have too many tabs open on here on my screen, guys. So, again, if you're just joining in, don't forget to, you know, smash the like button and say hi. Don't forget to join in on the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and sh share a much bigger screen over here. Uh, there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this going here. So the brand is called Techno, by the way. So I'm going to actually read through the press kit that they sent me really quick. Um, and, I'm, and again, we'll, I'll go ahead and share the device. So again, we're, we're on their website, which is tech, techno slash mobile.com. So if you guys want to check that out, also you guys can check that out. I actually posted that the link in the description below, so you can check this out uh, on your, if you want to check that out a little bit later on and separately. And check out uh, again. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and read through the email first. So again, last night uh, the global premium smartphone brand Techno announced the launch of the Camin 19 series atop the iconic Rockefeller Center in New York City, right? Um, including the stylish flagship Cam Camin. 19 pro for incredible nighttime photography features uh, available this month across global emerging markets technos camin 19 series of premium smartphones was created for young uh, fashionettas to overcome the traditional challenges associated with photography in nighttime and low light conditions with uh, style techno is pleased to announce that camin or the techno camin 19 pro will be available for only 280 dollars usd and the Techno Camin 19 Pro 5G uh, will be on sale for 320. So if you guys want the regular version, I guess, which it's technically still the Can the Camin Pro, the non 5G version, you're gonna spend under 300. dollars If you want the Pro uh, version, you're gonna spend like over 300. dollars Which to me, if, if you're gonna get the phone, you might as well get the 5G version, just because, like, wh why waste? Why not? Why not waste the extra 40 dollars? Uh, on that i think that's just kind of stupid but anyways um you know again the all uh new camera 19 series features first of its kind elements so you know again they do they do mention first of its kind so market first rgbw plus g plus p sensitive lens for a 64 megapixel main camera again if you guys look back at it they are focusing they are going to be focusing on uh, low light conditions, right? So you want, you know, you want, they're trying to market younger, I guess a younger generation that wants to be taking maybe pictures more at nighttime than during the day. Um, you know, understandable experience the Camin 19 pro super night camera settings, new standards for accurately capturing bright 
clear images and portraits in full length optimal lighting situations uh, by employing a sensor system with the code evolved by Samsung to mimic the focus of the human eye. Industry uh, Simset 0.99 millimeter bezel. So again, going back, I'm going to go start going. I'm going to start scrolling down on the actual website itself, just so you guys can kind of kind of see what you know this phone looks like a little bit. Um, I don't know. Does Play do anything? Let's check this out. I guess. Since we don't get oh yeah, hold on. Let's let's mute this really quick because I really don't want to be copyrighted here. Um, but again, it says it's got a slim bezel. Um, the camera system looks kind of wonky. It does come in two different colors, by the way. But they are promoting this like as if it's like you know you're like if you're taking pictures in low light by the way. Wow, I got like zero people in this chat by the way. Or it looks like we got. Come on, guys! If you guys are there, don't be lurkers. Say hi. Since I have three people in the chat, so don't don't hesitate to say hi. Um, please help. You know, please just you know say hi. Get the chat going, uh, so I can keep this video going for at least a little bit. You know what I mean? Again, since I'm sharing this. It's B Tech After Dark. I should have named it to B Tech After Dark, but I did not. So, okay, let me go ahead and exit out there and let me go ahead and continue. I'll go ahead and leave that sitting up while I'm reading a little bit of the press kit that they sent me uh, as well. And there was there was a whole press video about this uh, that we were watching on Magic Tech's channel. It was about a 17 minute video and it was very cringe to watch. So, we just we decided only to watch a little bit of it. So, again, um, it was not fun to watch. I'll tell you that much. But going back to the uh, to what they sent me here, uh, just so you guys get a little bit more specs here, uh, it is a, a very small, tight bezel on the on the front screen. It is a six point uh, eight inch screen, so almost a seven inch phone. FHD plus display uh, to deliver a unsurpassed immersive experience. I don't know why they think it's like like if it's like a brand new experience or whatever. The diamond light coating of twenty million crystals provides a premium texture and avoids fingerprint smudges. So if you guys are looking at the back of the actual phone itself, you can see here that, you know, again, I might, I might have to scroll down so you guys can kind of see what the backing looks like of the actual uh, device. Um, but to me, like from there, you can't really tell, but let's go ahead and continue to scroll down uh, on the phone, night portrait system. So this is what they're talking about basically. They're like, uh, well, aside from the camera, if you look at the back of the phone, you're going to see like, uh, I guess like those little star, those little star thingies, I guess. So, um, uh, it looks, it looks a little bit appealing, uh, phone, the design wise, it doesn't look bad. I mean, honestly, I don't think the phone looks bad at all. Is that it? Hold on. Let me see. Am I at the bottom of the, the screen already? Okay. Hold on. Let's, let's keep scrolling. So if you look at the back, obviously, uh, you, you know, it's got a pretty fat camera sensor, uh, I'm not a fan of the way it looks just because, you know, the actual lenses themselves are not that big, but maybe again, they might have more behind those actual, uh, you know, little camera cutouts there. Looks like we have finally one chatter here. What's up, Gene? How's it going, buddy? And again, I don't know if you were in uh, Magic Tech's live stream, but uh, we are here now on BTech's live stream over here. So we are, I'm sharing the new Camon series uh, Techno camon 19 series phone which i'll probably end up changing the title a little bit later uh, oh alatia was not subscribed how dare you alatia just kidding uh it's okay i went ahead and shared it on magic text channel so and i'm pretty sure you saw the uh information on the discord so hey thanks for being here i know you're gonna go live streaming in a little bit so uh hopefully you got to rest a little bit um you know i took a, i took a small break and i'm I, and, and i decided i wanted to eat something because i hadn't eaten dinner yet so I was like, oh, let me eat something. So we're just going, we're just going over like, you know, the phone itself, right? I was going over the press kit and the phone is over here. I'm just going over what they sent me as far as that go. It's and let me just finish reading off. So it's got a clear and precise 50 megapixel 2x opti optical zoom lens utilizing the focal uh, distance of the 50 millimeters allows users to shoot videos and photos uh, in crisp portrait outlines without distortion when in portrait mode, choosing 2x portrait with bokeh to highlight portraits with transformation uh, at a casual shot into a magazine quality masterpiece. So again, pretty crazy that, you know, a lot of companies think that a lot of people are going to be using smartphones to be, I guess, taking like professional, very professional looking photos. Some people do. I mean, some people can do crazy things with these uh, smartphones, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if you want like a very 
professional looking item, you're going to go and buy a Canon or a Sony or a Panasonic uh, mirrorless camera or DSLR. So uh, let's see an innovative AI face beauty technology. The Canon series camera systems intelligently identifies different facial structures and skin tones, delivers smooth uh, complexions and accurately depicts the beauty across all skin tones. So my only thing about that is it looks like we got people in here finally. Yeah, finally some people are chatting. Thanks, guys, by the way. Thanks for uh, thanks for subscribing, by the way, Lee T. I really appreciate that. Um, I know it's probably like what? It's uh, it's going to be 11, 11 p.m. my time, so it's going to be about new, lunchtime on your end. So, yeah, I had to stop, and I, I ate a late dinner tonight because uh, I ate a late lunch basically earlier. Like I ate lunch like maybe like five hours ago. But anyways – um, you know, I just wanted to go over this on my channel since, you know, again, you know, obviously mine is a tech channel also. Uh, let's see. Gene says, this is only my opinion, but I think this phone is junk. The opinions viewed are the opinions of myself. <laughs> hey, so there's nothing wrong with that. So again, um, I think for the price, I think it might be worth checking out, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's basically trying to sell like a good low light phone, I guess phone, you know, and, and the phone doesn't look bad. Don't get me wrong. Like my question is if the quality is as good as it says it is, which, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, the, the TCL people that reach out to me are, um, you know, thinking about sending me this device. Uh, you know, I know that they might send it to a few people in the States. I'm not sure if they do send it, I will for the best of my abilities, test out the camera system. Right. Uh, Alatia says, I think the phone would be good. Uh, for at least for taking pictures yeah my thing is i'm not so much of a picture taker as i am like a video taker i would prefer to take video yeah you can use it as a webcam also i know their software's let's go but it's got ois and eis stabilization so that that will help you know if you're making run run gun photos uh let's take it away i know it's probably going to try to advertise portrait mode over here uh so it does have a two megapixel macro camera right uh, so here's the specs there, right? And you can't see what lens one. It's got four lenses, apparently. Lens one says it's got a two megapixel. Okay, lens one, let's go back. 64 megapixel super night camera, uh, which again, RGW sensor size, OIS stabilization, pixel size 0.8 UM. Um, aperture is F1.6, which is not probably the lowest it could be at. <clears throat> and focus is PDAF. Uh, you have a small macro camera uh, with a 2.4 aperture on that one. Um, lens 3 is a 2 megapixel bokeh camera. And then lens 4, I guess, would be the front-facing camera. So this is directly from the website, guys. But uh, if you guys go to, like, phonearena.com, uh, uh, it will say, and again, that the front-facing camera is a is a 32 megapixel, not a 16 megapixel. So that's that's where I'm getting a little bit confused there. But... Um, let's see. Let's go back here. Let's see what AT is saying. Um, I think the phone would be good for pictures. Gene says, um, do you think our three major carriers will sell this? Probably not. I think this phone will most likely be sold unlock on Amazon. Uh, I think it's interesting that, um, this company techno, uh, actually decided to do their press conference here in the U S because first of all, they're not even marketing this in the U.S., so I thought that was interesting that they decided to, you know, do their um, do their press conference in the USA. At least that not at least that the information that I got was that they're not going to sell this in the U.S. At least not yet, by the way. So here's a little bit of how I guess it'll look with with the camera settings on versus off. You know what I mean? Which I don't know. Bright night portrait video. So. I think this is something that even flagship devices have issues with uh, taking video at nighttime. I know that they pretty much got a uh, portrait or at least they got portrait pictures down. Ooh, excuse me. But the fact is that, and, and they misspelled bright, by the way, it's bright. I don't know if anyone, I don't know if anyone noticed that they misspelled bright. I think someone needs to go back and look at this uh, website, by the way, because this is not bright. <laughs> Unless that's just a word, I don't know. Alaita, correct me if I'm wrong. Am, is am I am I looking at this wrong? <laughs> bright, bright night portrait video. So I think somebody went and misspelled that. I should like go and uh, uh, email their uh, marketing team and be like, hey, someone misspelled this on your website. You should go look at this or whatever. Um, hilarious, by the way. Let's see. 
All right, I was messaging my friend letting her know that I'm I was live streaming. It looks like we got five people in the in the actual video, by the way. So guys, don't forget to smash the like button. It really does help out the algorithm. Um, you know, help me out with that. Share my videos. You know, uh, to, you know what to do. Do what you want to do. But again, sharing your dark night when when the video night view algorithm detects an ambient brightness is dark, it will work with RGWB. So this is a technology. If this is a new technology that they claim, you know, is the first thing for 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 smartphone the smartphone industry in general i think this will change the game in night shot videos although i think and i and i, I really need to go back and test out like my my iphone 13 pro and my iphone or my pixel 6 pro those are two flagships that i have right now uh, i can tell you one thing that the iphone 13 pro doesn't really take great night video uh i need to go back and test it out with my pixel 6 pro though so let's go ahead and continue here and again, if this is video directly shot, then obviously you can tell the difference like right away. Like it's really, you know, to the naked eye at least. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, I think they will sell it. Here, let me. I got to grab my subscribe pillow, by the way, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. I'm going to put this under my arm because my arm is starting, starting to hurt a little bit. I need some uh, support there. Um, if they eventually market here, though, you are right, though. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be different. And again, I'm, I'm taking this directly from the techno.com website. So again, guys, um, this is going to be a $320 phone. You know, this $320 phone can do the job. I think, you know, reviewers are going to want to have to look at it. I'm hoping that, you know, they decide to send the phone out to me or whatever. Um, just because I think it's it'll be interesting to see what the video looks like. Like HDR video, there. You know, this is something I'm interested in. I, I'm more interested in the video aspect than the actual uh, aspect. And really, who knows? Like, and I, I think it's interesting not to. I'm not, you know, trying to say anything. They're using an African American here uh, to show the example of what the video would look like with the setting on versus with the setting off, right? Um, but I think it's weird because I feel like I feel like they're kind of staging it a little bit. Like I feel like they turned on a spotlight on him. And here, let's go back really quick. Let's see if I can go back. I want to. I want to make the picture a little bit bigger. There we go. So I feel like they have a, a like an actual like LED light on him because look at the background in the in the second video. The second video, the background seems to be brighter than in the first video. So I don't know. I mean, who knows? Maybe that is camera, the camera and the camera software. But I just don't think that. <laughs> I don't know. It seems fishy to me. Is all I'm gonna say. So you know that could be. That could be because whatever, you know, they are the, the light, they change the lighting in the room. Who knows, right? We get it. Even in backlight environments, you can take great films with HDR mode on. Backlit portraits are clear and reveal more details uh, here. By the way, do I have any music on, by the way, guys? Hold on. Let me go ahead and add that really quick. Well, I know you guys want to hear some background music over here. Let's turn on some lo-fi over here. There we go. We'll put it like at 25%. Here we go. Okay. So I know you guys just don't like hearing my my awesome voice over here, but again, if they eventually market here, you know the the the, the Cayman 19 Pro by itself is just 280 dollars. If you don't care for 4G, if you don't care for 4G or no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 5G capabilities, go for the go go for the one that's under 200 300 dollars. You're gonna you're gonna spend less and you're gonna basically get the same features that the that the 5G version has. It's just that it's not 5G. Um, and it, it might be more practical for some people. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the, the website here. So Film Master, more templates added in Cayman 19's Pro 5G. You can play with a variety of transition, camera movements, and music choices to get a glimpse of, of being a direct, being what a director feels like. So cool. I mean, it might have its own video editing software, right? Uh, and, and again, and when you take the videos, you might be able to add layers or filters to the video right so i think that's pretty cool i mean you know uh, you don't see a lot of that in and again this i don't know this girl's just creepily looking at me i think the videos that they took were pretty cool but i don't think these are off the actual phone itself right portrait video bokeh that'll be interesting actually you know um i'm interested to see if if this is if this actually works if you think about it, this is basically like cinematic cinema mode from like the iPhone 13 uh, series phones, uh, the cinematic mode, I guess. And that's not a mode that I've actually really tweaked around with too much. Uh, but you can check that out. Um, <laughs> Alatia, yeah, that's a typo. Let me know if you're still there, Alatia. I know you're probably getting ready to stream on your next stream. Hey, what's going on, Nightbot? 
Nightbot saying smash the like button and subscribe, by the way, guys. Okay, let's, let's you know, infuse your videos with something interesting with Portrait Boca. The background of the video will be blurred while the portrait you want to focus on will become super sharp. So I think this, considering this is a feature you don't see, I mean, that you barely even see on flagship devices, right? Um, this might be a feature that some people that are filmmakers might be interested, right? All right, Alatia, just making sure. Um, and this is an interesting, I think this is interesting. I know this is stuff that we probably didn't go over in uh, Magic Text channel, right? Uh, when we were going live with him, because again, the video really wasn't explaining, the video that we were watching really wasn't explaining too much of this, right? But the fact that, the fact is I'm interested in this phone now, just after seeing all this, right? Multiplay in photography. I don't know exactly what that means, but again, if go to uh, if you watch the the the, the uh, you know the the press release video, it it claims that it's a 32 megapixel, not a 16 megapixel camera. So again, I'm reading this directly off their website. So even then, it's gonna have a good front facing, right? So camera mode, you're gonna have professional mode, right? Which a lot of people don't use, but you know if you guys know how to tweak and mess around with your settings, you know in different modes like you know changing your white balance. You know your autofocus um just different things in general to you know change the background the lighting in your on your phone don't hesitate you know you can really take better professional looking photos like that um and because you're manually you're changing the exposure on the, the device so dual core 3d lut so technology can optimize the background and portrait separately for portrait optimization it can make the skin tone for more natural and clothing color realistic okay yeah that, that's true i mean again could go from that to that so super night with filters so your night is yours you can choose from various cool and fun filters to take super stylish photos in the best of lighting i think that's interesting and you know i'm, I'm ooh, uh oh hello looks like we got a super chat from gene thanks again for the super chat by the way but i really appreciate that um and to the other two that are just lurk or there's five people there and i only got two people chatting so uh alatia gene i know you're here to the other three who knows we might have some lurkers in the house over here uh, that's okay though but uh, guys don't hesitate to say hi you know say hi introduce yourself if you're new to the channel right and let, let's talk about the phone right uh super night filter so that's something that i might be interested i might not be interested but obviously if you guys are looking at this phone right you know that they're they're really looking at catering to the camera camera itself right with that same pixel main camera the 32 megapixel phrasing camera right and again you know that's what that's really what they're they're focusing on right um so what if the sky is hazy uh the cayman 19 pro sky shop lets you change the sky as you wish along with different backgrounds to dazzle your eyes so you can actually go and change the background right interesting you know it's, it's kind of got like a little photoshop built in if you think about it let's go ahead and look at design of the phone right so it's got very thin bezels right on this device thank you for the super chat again by the way gene and i'm not sure if you still are a channel member gene or not but if you are thank you for still being a channel member if not no worries man i know that 99 cents can go a long way right now especially with how gas how how heavy gas prices are right now looks like we got somebody saying hi uh, the, yeah, I'm going to get to that part right now. I am going to get to the specs, uh, Borganta 611-03. So don't worry, I'm getting there. I'm just kind of going over the main features of the device, and then I'll go over the tech specs right now. So again, it's got a very nice looking slim bezel. It's got dazzling black shell with 200 million stars. So again, the back, again, I can't make this picture big, bigger, right? But the back is supposed to be like, has supposed to be like a little... A bunch of little white specks that look like stars i guess and it says it has over 200 million on each device right we move the milky way to your phone and this is something that they literally like said in the video a bunch of times the milky way to your phone the diamond coating of the million stars is like a bright starry uh, sky uh this does remind me of like the nexus 4 uh 4 which if you if you if you guys are familiar with the nexus 4 device it had a glass back and it had like little, it had like a design in the back that had like, it was just some word design, but it had like little reflective little things in the back. So I thought that was pretty cool. So here's the main camera sensor itself, right? Um, let's see. 
Okay, Gene says he's still a member. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know why it's not popping up. I don't know your little thing. I guess maybe it's not popping up showing, or maybe it's just because I'm not live on YouTube itself. But I don't see the little channel badge. That's okay, though. Maybe it's just a restream thing. I am on le restream, by the way. But, but oh, yeah, you know what? Hold on. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and make this. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on monetization on here. We got we got a few viewers on here. So thanks again for for joining and watching guys i really appreciate it thank you again for for joining in um let's go ahead and remove this comment here okay let's go ahead and remove that i don't i don't know if i have any mods here <laughs> but, but yeah I, I think we have we have some spammers over here so so i don't know what's going on there <laughs> but but I've I've seen these people in in my uh, comments below, and it's just kind of annoying. So, uh, thanks for still being a member, though, Gene. Um, let's see. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, let's let's continue on here, right? Um, I might I might go make one of you guys a mod just so that we can remove any of those spam comments. So again, Star Star Diamond Twin Cam camera design it's got a triple camera sensor in the back basically i'm not too big of a fan but i think that top portion camera looks pretty nice actually <clears throat> it says day or night the star diamond makes you shine brighter so and it, it, it's gonna be a big phone because it does have a 5000 milliamp battery guys and just look at the camera cutouts themselves i don't know why this thing's moving i think the website's cool because every time you move it it like does something okay slim and straight back through one piece slim body the mid frame platform surface is slightly curved um with soft r angles on both sides to ensure a round feel whenever you're holding it okay echo black so it's coming in two different colors by the way it says the delicate feel of dynamic lens yada 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 oh okay maybe it's coming in more than one color cedar green so the video i watched was telling me that it's coming in, in, in more in two different another color they're not cedar green though so so again but this is the one that's coming directly from their website so maybe maybe the different markets that i was looking at but the other one was like a bluish color so again this is definitely not the, the phone that i saw in the video you know i'm just trying to help advertise here so let's see didn't see that comment okay maybe yeah the spammers are funny i don't know why they keep coming in like that though um i don't know what's going on here Okay, I'm just going to continue to block because, you know, <laughs> they're just getting views at least, right? I don't know why. I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, I already hid the user from the channel. Let me go. Hold on. Let me go. I'm going to go ahead and Alatia and Gene. I'm going to give you guys mod privileges. Our Gene's already a mod. So let's see. Alatia, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to add you as a mod, Alatia, so just help me out there, please. And it looks like we got eight likes on this video. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So, so <clears throat> phone here, guys. Echo Black, superior performance, right? You know, talking about what the specs here. So it does have a MediaTek Dimensity 810 processor. We'll go back and we'll talk about the specs here. So, again, this is the Camin 19 Pro 5G will blow you away with its powerful performance. So a lot of people do not like these MediaTek processors. Um, but the fact is, you know, again, it's going to keep the phone under a specific price range, right? So that's going to be what's going to power it. And we'll see how it does as far as performance go. I'm hoping they send me one of these phones. I mean, we'll see. Uh, so no AMOLED display, right? It does have an HFHD plus display, right? So it's going to be a big phone, guys. So if you're familiar with like phones like you know the tcl uh, xc or the 35g it's going to be even be bigger than those because those are i think are only about 6.6 .6 inch screens this is a 6.8 so it's big so it does have 120 hertz refresh rate uh which is good for gaming right and if you're scroll things uh so i think it, th that would be more for gaming although it would be a concern for me just because of the battery life so their name has the website links yeah <laughs> i know it's really stupid so hey we got our dog in the house what's going down our dog i wonder if it gets software updates so that's a thing man like a lot of these chinese manufacturing one thing that i'm kind of have a gripe with 
Uh, I remember Umidigi, for instance. You know, you don't really get a lot of updates on those Umidigi phones. Uh, they're inexpensive and they they work for a little bit, but at the end of the day, you know, you know, it's really up to you. Let me take a quick little little water break. I don't know if they sell these in uh, Jeans area out there on the in the East Coast, Tampico, uh, Tropical Punch. It's pretty good. It tastes kind of like Sunny Delight, but anyways. Now let's go back to the phone here. So it's got TUV Rayland certification display, right? So I have no clue what this is. I've never heard of it, but I guess it says it's going to protect your eyes from dryness, which is a blue light. Blue light is part of nature's uh, electromagnetic energy spectrum compared to other colors. Blue light has shorter wavelengths and higher energy and has biological effects, including effects on the eyes, right? play an hour on the phone you can take a five minute break look away or do eye exercises to relieve eye strain how to enter mode so it's got some sort of mode that will maybe the the blue light a little bit better so so again it does come with 256 gigabytes of memory i think there's a 128 gigabyte version also uh, eight gigs of ram in each variant so again and it says extended ram up to five gigabytes so you can actually get 12 gigabytes of ram which is pretty cool i guess um I guess maybe on their higher end phones. I don't even know. So fast charging. We already went over that. It's got a 5,000 milliamp battery, 33 watt charging, which it's not the fastest charging, but you can, like it says, you can fully charge this phone in an hour. So that's not really that bad. Okay. All right. Let's see. And it's got NFC. Okay. So that's, a, that's kind of a, a feature that, you know, might be important to some people. Uh, everyone's saying hi to each other. It's not a bad looking phone. I don't think it's a bad looking phone at all. In fact, I think a lot of people would ask, hey, what phone is that? You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, just because, but let's see. It's got NFC, so that means you can pay uh, with your Android Pay or whatever it's called. Google Pay, I guess, G-Pay. Uh, and, you know, you'll be able to make payments or, you know, do different things that have that feature. It's got HOS 6, <laughs> which... I think it's funny that they're calling I iOS, right? Which is, I guess, I want to say their version of Android. I, I, I do know it's running Android. So, I mean, that's it. That's the that's that, that's what it's going to look like. So, hold on. Let me... It's video player, YouTube, VLC. So, it, you know, I mean, I can't tell you what the UI looks like, right? but I'm sure it's not going to look bad. So, let's go to the tech specs really quick just to kind of finish this off, right? Um, let's click that really quick. Okay, let's see. So again, you know, for those who are interested in, I guess, the network connectivity, uh, it's not really giving you bands, right? But it says it's GSM, GPRS, uh, GPRS, Full Edge, WCDMA, H HSPA+, TDD, LTE. You know, it's got different, different uh, I guess, types of networking over here. Obviously, you can connect to Wi-Fi. So it is going to be a Chinese phone right so you might be limited to specific bands if if they end up selling it here in the u.s now if they sell like a oh my gosh we got some more spammers over here <laughs> guys we have some more spammers alatia are you seeing this <laughs> looks like the one plus n20 eh, maybe maybe not but you know again this is not let me go back to their main page here so this is not going to be the only Let's go to the Cayman series phones really quick because they they have different phones. They have the Spark, the Pova, the Pop, but we want to look at the the actual Cayman series phone. So this is not this is definitely not a new company. They have different series of phones. Like they have the Cayman 18 series, which mostly look like the the Samsung phones, right? Uh, you have the 17 series, which again look somewhat like Samsung phones. Um, the Cayman 16, which looks like one a OnePlus phone, and then and then this series, which you have the Cayman 19 Pro, Pro, the Cayman 19 Neo, and then the Cayman 19. So, like, if I click the Cayman 19 just by itself, see if I can even get anything. My internet's starting a little bit slow, guys, so let me know. Um, message already deleted. Okay, good. Thank you for, for that. So, this one looks more like the one that they were uh, advertising uh, on the, um, <laughs> the actual um, video itself, which was just the regular came in 19 right so pretty much the same phone um this, this is just like the 4g version i guess or the lt version but pretty much the same exact phone look at that 
GoPro video, you have the same camera setup, you know, same HDR video, same film master, but, and they're still claiming it's a 16 megapixel camera. So that's my only thing is it, it's, a, it's kind of saying, oh, we have a, a 16 megapixel front camera, but the video that we watched says it was a 32 megapixel camera. So I'm not sure what's going on there exactly. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, sorry, I was responding to a friend there. Uh, I couldn't find any network fans. Okay, hold on. Let's go to phonearena.com really quick. I'm just going to continue sharing that video. Here, let's just jump into phonearena.com. I think this is still the website. Wow, they actually changed the websites. So let's search for the... Uh, what is the phone call again? Techno. Come on. Okay, am I on the right page? Phonearena.com. Okay, I might just have to Google this. Tech. Techno came in 19. There you go. Okay. Call service may be different overseas. Yep, you're right about that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's try GSM Arena instead. I don't know why I tried Phone Arena. Phone Arena sucks. Okay. So, what is it giving me about this phone? It's not really giving me too much information about here. Let me see. Can I click this? Xiaomi. No, it's not really giving me any more information about that, but it's giving me the colors at least. So you see, these are the correct colors sea salt white. It's not really giving me bad information though, but hold on. I know Lacey had found it somewhere earlier. GSM Arena. Okay, let's try clicking that. There we go. That's what I want to look for. Okay. So. Let's see. Battery features. It's got Android 12 at least, so hey. Um, and again, I'm having a hard time seeing this because my eyes are already like, ugh. My eyes are burning. Because my computer is not blue light, or my screen is not blue light. I think it is actually, but I'm not sure. Uh, it says release date or announced June 15th of 2022. So it really was just announced. I mean, I don't, I don't even... I don't know if this phone is completely out yet, but look here, it does say that the selfie camera is 32, uh, 32 megapixels. So on their website, it says it's 16. So, um, uh, media tester, it just says yes on all of the comms area. So it doesn't really talk about bands. Maybe more of that information will be out once the, uh, the phone is actually out, but it doesn't really talk about it, man. But yeah, you guys are right. I mean, you guys are right. We'll see what's up there, but. I don't know, guys. Let me know what y'all think. What do y'all think about the device? Do you is it a, is it an appear? What, who do you guys think this phone caters to? Right? Um, I'm t I, I'm from what I'm reading, it's only going to be able to shoot 1080p at 30 frames a second, which is kind of upsetting because if you have a 64 megapixel camera with all of this stuff going on, like your 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 max video output is going to be 1080p. Like, come on, give me. Give me 4K at 30 frames a second. You know, I mean, there's media servers that can shoot in 4K, right? So to me, this is just like, what's going on here? Mm. Yeah, there's no network pad information on it right now. I didn't even know there was a subscriber only mode, honestly. I, I mean, I'm streaming on Restream, so I don't even know if it gives me that option. Uh, I think it might do it if... Um, and I think that person was subscribed to me because I don't know. What do you want? Oh, no. Okay, well, I gotta let my dog out. My dog wants to get out really quick. What do you want? You wanna go with grandma? You wanna go with grandma? She's out there somewhere. Okay, I'll we'll leave the door cracked for now. Okay, so we're we're still live streaming. Sorry about that, guys. My dog wanted me to open the door. Uh, kind of a shame though that you can't find any network bands on it. But again, right now it's not being sold in America. Oops, looks like we still got spammers over here. So. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I hope this video isn't take down, uh, taken down. Uh, hopefully the mods can can take that down for me, please. Thank you guys. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on, but we got a bunch of spammers over here. That's okay. But okay, so let's go back. It's a very, it's, I mean, it's not a bad looking phone. 6.8 inch screen. Uh, ex expected release date is uh, in July, right? So, you know, it's 8.6 millimeters thick, Android 12 HIOS. So, you know, that's going to be their UI. Um, again, 1080p with their 64 megapixel camera you know I th i'm interested to see how how this phone performs gaming wise you know what i mean since it does have a, such a big screen since it does have that 120 hertz display right oh my goodness <laughs> we still got more spammers in here by the way yeah look my even my nightbot's doing its job there uh, which is good i guess um <laughs> yep i think we have too much spy uh there's there's definitely a lot of people out there that just have too much time on their hands what do you want mama okay my dog is over here just chilling but let me know what you guys think about the phone i think it's an interesting looking device i'm not sure uh again who who here in the states would buy it i think you know reviewers are definitely going to look at it but it's not like you know it, the phone is going to be sold at walmart or target you know what i mean i think you know, I think a lot of phone companies or I think a lot of uh, companies like this need to look like, is this going to just be sold on Amazon or are we going to try to sell it like at stores like Best Buy? Because, I mean, Best Buy even sells like blue phones, right? And even though blue phones are not that big, obviously, like they're they're I guess they get enough exposure to at least be posted. Hey, mama, uh, they get enough exposure to at least be sold in, in Best Buy, right? You know, um, hilarious. We're gonna have to block some of these people, guys. Thank you, thank you. And Nightbot is doing his job. Thank you, Nightbot. <laughs> yeah, they got way too much time on their hands. I have no clue what's going on there. Um, but let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and stop stop the screen share, right? You know, let's just get this back on me here. Stop sharing and get this back on me how's it going guys micro tech reviews here thanks again for uh joining in we've been wow we've been going on for four, about 42 minutes it's already 11 30 my time so i guess i'm gonna go ahead and cut the video i usually do like an hour but you know since it's it's already a little bit late and i know you guys got to get to work uh some of you some of you who are not, who don't go to sleep uh, i know you'll be doing other things right um, but i really appreciate y'all being here tonight thanks again for coming to the channel and liking my videos liking uh, my content right you know again i'm hoping once this gets better uh, i'll be able to go out and film with uh, this phone which is the tcl 35g uh, which again shout out to tcl for sending me this uh, phone out right uh taking some pictures with it because again i really can't go out with uh, my collarbone i don't know how it's healing exactly it's still broken though I'm, i still have like a bruise right here it's not a big bruise but it's still like a bruise that goes from like here to here maybe about a three inch bruise that goes from like from top to bottom here and i'm just like wondering like oh like you know if i'm healing okay oh there we go if i'm healing okay and just you know make sure that everything's good because i'm supposed to go back to work in a month and three days actually so i have another about a an, another month off to recover but i don't know I'm, I'm hoping that this is okay and you know pain pain wise i'm it's gone down a lot you know i'm not really feeling i'm not i'm really not even taking pain meds anymore uh, I do feel like just soreness in this area now. Like it just feels like, like, I mean, obviously my arm's in a sling, right? I might actually take this off because I've been wearing it all day. Okay. You guys get first look at me taking off my sling, right? Don't think of this as NS NSFW content over here, right? But I watched this earlier and um, I don't know. I don't know how girls feel with wearing bras all day but I, I think after taking that off after wearing it all day i can kind of relate to how they feel um you know because again you, they have to have those things on all day and their girls are tucked in there and i i i, I don't know i mean you know kudos to to women all the women out there though um that have to deal with that because like literally my arm just tucked in there all day it's annoying and I, I get very I get very frustrated with that. So 
Yeah, so that's something again that we're gonna all have to look at. You know, I'm hoping if they, I'm hoping if they do start sending reviewers the phones that TCL, because they're the ones that reached out to me. I don't know, I don't know if TCL. I, I mean, I know that um, Techno is a completely different company than TCL, but the thing is, TCL actually makes phones for other companies. So, like for instance, BlackBerry. I think they they were making phones for BlackBerry. Uh, they make phones for T-Mobile, like the Revel series phones. Team. Uh, um tcl makes those phones right and um they're, they're inexpensive devices guys like you really you really have to look at tcl and, and the company itself they're smelling they're selling some really re relatively inexpensive smartphones that do a lot for for the price um so i think people need to give tcl a second look here i feel like they're the new motorola or the new lg i guess you know in the in the smart in the smartphone space so people really need to look at that and just go with it and 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 give them a chance, right? Because again, like, my, you know, one, one of the main phones I use here at home, here we go, the TCL 20 Pro 5G. And this is a nice device. And it's it's around, a, it's, a, it's about a $500 device, right? But this phone has a lot of features. It has wireless charging. It has a very beautiful looking AMOLED display uh, or OLED display. It has a, like literally like from edge to edge like it's a full screen display you don't get you don't have a chin or nothing like that it's got a quad camera setup in the back very nice cameras it's got a very nice front facing camera it takes it takes 4k video um it, it just does a lot of different things like I, there's just too many good things that i can say about this this device where i'm just like wow like you know it, it even has body tracking like if you're taking video on this device, it has body tracking as well. So that's a feature that I that I kind of showed off on the uh, 10 Pro 5G. Uh, it even has an HDR setting, which you know I don't I don't know what. I guess you know it really just depends on the lighting. But this this does have an HDR setting for the cameras. So oh wow, actually it turns it into like more of a widescreen setup. Okay, that's interesting. And it does have like a uh super steady is on so it does have like a stabilization mode for you know video as well so and again i know it has some sort of like tracking let's see let's see video stabilization is on shutter sound resetting okay maybe it's not on this phone but i do remember that they did have like a a, a person tracking uh on the actual device uh itself so maybe that was just the 10 pro 5g i'm not 100 sure Let's see. There you go. It's called motion tracking. So it says touch the object you want to track and the live motion feature automatically tracks or zooms in on the object. So like if I'm if I'm like have it on a tripod, like the, the camera will follow you basically, even if it's just at a still. I, I, I really gotta test that out in another video just because I, I didn't I never really tested it on this device. But anywho guys, again, uh Thanks again for promoting my Discord, by the way. So if you guys are not a part of my Discord channel, uh, please do so, right? We can go ahead and, and talk about devices like this on my Discord, right? Uh, if you guys want to talk to me, you can go ahead and send me a DM on there. I mean, that's the place to do it. I'm not going to respond. I most likely won't respond like on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook like that. But on uh, on places like Discord, I definitely will. So Aletia, I really appreciate you uh, promoting my Discord there. And for those of you who don't use it, check it out. You know what I mean? It's basically like a big chat server uh, that you can, and you can even go and post videos and live stream and whatnot. Just make sure that you follow the rules on my channel and you will be good to go. But let's see, what is this? Can I turn it? Okay. Oh, okay. It turns off like the little background. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here since it's, we're getting close to midnight and I'm getting a little bit tired. So guys, really appreciate you. Let's see, TCL sold BlackBerry. I forget who they sold BlackBerry to. Yeah, I think they originally owned it, but they they were still kind of like a separate entity, I think. Either way, BlackBerry's kind of dead. So, hey, you guys, thanks again for joining in on the channel. Don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to share my videos and subscribe. And you guys have a good night. Hopefully, you all get some rest. Okay, we'll see you guys on the next video.